Now, New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. I'm Lauren Glassberg. Graduating college is a huge accomplishment for anyone. But when you hear Bianca's story, you are going to want to hire her. She's graduating from the College of New Rochelle today, and I'll have her incredible story coming up. And a young woman's inspiring story of determination. How she overcame homelessness and tragedy to become the first in her family to graduate college. Well, speaking of millennials, one amazing woman who spent much of her life living in homeless shelters now getting her diploma. It is really an extraordinary accomplishment when you hear the hurdles she had to overcome. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg has her story. 22-year-old Bianca Jeannot has so many reasons to hold her head high today, and graduating from the College of New Rochelle is just one of them. She and her family lived in homeless shelters for seven years, and at 18, she lost her mother, a single parent. I had to become head of household. I had to inherit our Section 8 from New York City Housing Authority, and I had two disabled brothers that relied on no one else. So it was up to me for everything, and I thought, well, am I still able to go to school? She found a way in part by working four jobs at a time. Three on campus and one outside of campus. I've worked for Vector Marketing. I've worked for the admissions house on campus. I've worked for payroll, the IT department. You get the idea and she did it all while caring for her older brothers in the Bronx. Paul has renal failure and Michael has Down syndrome. Both attended today's ceremony on the Upper West Side, beaming for their sister, who also edited the school's literary magazine, founded an anime club, and is graduating with honors. He's one of the most energetic, creative, vibrant, intelligent students I've ever had at the College of New Rochelle, and she's going to have a really bright, wonderful future. She is now the first person in her family to receive a college diploma, and today she thought of those who've supported her along the way and her mom. I think she'd be super proud. She loved to wear her ruby red lipstick, so that's probably what I'd be covered in, uh, red kisses. And uh, I think she'd, she'd just love it. So what's next for Bianca? A celebratory dinner tonight, and then she says she would like to sleep a little bit before she starts pounding the pavement looking for a job. She'd like to find something in the world of animal welfare. On the Upper West Side, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Way to go. What a story.